Hello. Something that aggravates me is when an atheist claims that the Bible, that Christianity, supports slavery. Christianity does not support slavery. Actually, we have fought against slavery more at greater cost than anybody else has. Now, yes, in the Old Testament there are examples of slavery. There are examples where God does tell the Israelites to take slaves. Those are time-sensitive cases that happened back then. They're not good for us right now. I don't know exactly why that happened then. I'm not God. Don't claim to be God. It's a mystery. But let's deal with the New Testament. Because Jesus, at the Lord's Supper, he said, This cup represents the new covenant that's in my blood. We are living under the new covenant. Out with the old and with the new. Jesus also, you know, that's also the New Testament. Now, people will claim in Ephesians that Paul says, Slaves, be obedient to those who are your masters according to the flesh, with fear and trembling, and the sincerity of your heart as to Christ. People who are atheists will say that you know, Christianity supports slavery because right here when Paul is talking about Christ slavery, he's not encouraging slaves to revolt. Well, as we'll see early, later, that you know, Paul did not like human bondage. He did not like slavery. But what would have happened had slaves revolted? What would have happened if, you know, the slaves, if, if Paul would have said, Slaves! Fight your masters. Revolt. What would have happened? What happened to Spartacus? He died. They would have died. Paul instead wanted to preserve their life, life, lives, and he wanted them to be witnesses. It was common sense. Paul wasn't using this scripture, slaves obey your masters. He wasn't using this to support slavery. He wanted to save their life, and he wanted them to be witnesses to their masters. Actually, Paul would actually say, for all who were baptized in Christ have been clothed, have clothed yourself with Christ. Neither is there there is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free man, there is neither male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Bam. Equality. Yes, it comes from the Bible. Jesus taught it, and the Apostle Paul reconfirms it. The Apostle Paul was not for slavery. Actually, in Jesus Christ, there is no slavery. Actually, we're all slaves to Jesus, not to each other. And to go on, think about it. We believe, as Christians, that God became incarnate in Jesus Christ, and he died for us on the cross. He died for me, and he died for my neighbor. Now, if I believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for my neighbor... Obviously, it would be against the will of God for me to think that he, God would want me to enslave my neighbor who he died for. It, it makes no sense. No, no, no. Christianity does not support slavery at all. Jesus said, love your neighbor as yourself. And when he said this, you know, he, he, he used the parable when they asked him, well, who's your neighbor? He used the parable of the good Samaritan, the, Samar you know, the man from Samaria who were enemies of the Jews. So he was using an enemy to convey that's your neighbor. So if your enemy is your neighbor, then everyone should be your neighbor. And he said, love that person as yourself. So I've these are big New Testament points I've just pointed out that are opposed to any type of mistreatment of other Christ, other people. There's no way, shape, or form that the New Testament can be used to support slavery. And let's go deeper. Do you think it was the atheist who freed the slaves in England? They had you know, a huge slave market. No, it was the Christians. The Christians were the ones that freed the slaves in England. They're the ones that had the group that freed. What about in America? The abolitionist movement. They were Christians. That's the Christians. The South had slaves for economic gain. Now, yes, they used the Abraham had slaves, you know, to bolster their argument, but they didn't really believe that Jesus Christ, that was good for them. They made money off of it. That was their God. You know, without the slave system, you know, that their economy would have gone downhill. 
That's why there's an American Baptist Church and a Southern Baptist Church. It was a split. It was an abolitionist movement was founded by Christians. The Christians formed. And Abraham Lincoln, he did say, and he was an abolitionist, by the way. He was elected president by those who thought that slavery was wrong. And they were Christians as well. See, Christianity is against slavery. So don't give me this secular atheist. It was Christians who did this. Now, it was true that Abraham Lincoln said, well, if I can free one slave and preserve the union, I will. If I had to, do it, if I had to free all the slaves, I will. If I can free some. And not, preserving the union was his main thing, not freeing the slaves. But he still wanted to free the slaves. And he did. Jesus Christ loves all of us. And Jesus Christ does not permit anyone to own a slave. In the quote where Paul says, uh, masters, don't revolt, you know, be, obey your masters. Let's use our brains. He's not condoning slavery. Think Spartacus. Think what happens to slaves in the Roman Empire that revolted. They died. The American Civil War was the bloodiest battle on our soil. More Americans died during the Civil War than all the other wars that we've had. This was the anthem, the Battle of the Republic, one of the main songs, the marching songs of the American, of the Northern troops. Battle of the Republic. Verse 4. In the beauty of the lilies, Christ was born across the sea with the glory in his boss bosom that transfigures you and me. As he died to make men holy, let us live to make men free while God is marching on. While he died to make men holy, let us die to make men free. It takes a lot of gall to go out and say that Christianity supports slavery when it was Christians who had, who went, and they were the ones that fought against the slavery. I'm not saying atheists didn't too, but there really weren't that many atheists in that time period. Christians shed so much blood in the extinction extinction of slavery in the U.S. and they claim that Christianity supports it somehow? Give me a break. Let's go with a better argument. No. Jesus Christ does not support slavery. Jesus Christ does not allow me to own a slave. And anyone who does so does not understand history, does not understand the New Testament. Let's go to the next point. But thank you for listening. God bless you.